vision, how to find purpose for your life, right? I get a lot of messages uh, outside of bodybuilding of a lot of my subscribers who are teenagers, right? Like, you know, they went through the same shit I went through. And that's, you know, that's for help as far as boredom, purpose, vision, motivation, all that shit, right? They keep telling me, Megan, what do you do when you're out of motivation? When you do when, and when you just sit at home all day, you know, and you just feel like a lazy fuck, and, you know, you, you're fucking miserable, you know? It's, it's not like you, you, you're missing you know, the basics, you have food, water, and you know, all that shit, a house, but you're just not happy with it. And I always tell these guys, it's it's the leader in you that's uncomfortable with your situation because if everyone is a leader, right? I always talk about that, right? And if you're a leader and you're not leading, you're not doing what a leader does, you're not, you know, you know, the, the, the best you have to offer is not being unleashed, you will never be comfortable. That's why you have all the video games in the world, you can have all the TV, uh, the plasma, big flat screen, you can have all the friends, everything that you fucking want, but you'll never be happy unless you're doing what it is that you meant to be, you know, to be doing. It's pretty simple. It's nothing new or revolutionary, right? Uh, if, if you struggle with boredom a lot, you're always like, man, I have no motivation. I have no, this is because you're not in your field. You're not in your passion. You're not in the area in which you will grow the most, in the area in which you will thrive the most. So what I tell people is um, identify, identify your art, your craft, your gift, your passion, right? And be the best at it, right? I always say it. I put on Facebook the other day. You don't have to be the best at everything, right? In fact, you shouldn't be the best at everything. But you damn sure be the best at the one thing, the one thing that you're good at, right? The one thing that makes you that, that makes you happy, that makes you alive, right? The, you know, the one thing. Albert Einstein, for him, it was fucking physics. That motherfucker loved physics. So he was determined to just, you know, keep focusing on physics. It's that simple, right? Identify that one thing that is worth your time, your energy, that makes you happy, that excites you. The one thing that you never bored of hearing or reading about or seeing. Identify what that is and put all your energy in it, right? Become the best at it. Don't be average in it. If it is your gift, if it is your talent, your passion, why would you be average at it? Why would you want to be average at it, right? You know, it's, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you feel like you were meant to be A, B, or C, right? Become the best at A, B, or C. Or C. Uh, don't let another person out shine you. Now, that's nothing to do with, you know, uh, you know, uh, bullying everybody else and being on top of the whole world. No, it's simply about maximizing your potential. I always say, play with the hand you were dealt, right? Not everybody can be Michael Jordan. Not everybody can be fucking Phil Heath or Ronnie Coleman. But whatever it is that you were given that they're not, you be the best at that. Become the best at that. I made so many videos about that. Go back and watch my my other videos on the topic, your purpose, your passion, all that shit. That's the reason why you're always bored is because you're doing everything. You're doing, most people do too much. It's not, the problem with most people, it's not that they're not doing enough, right? It's just they're doing too fucking much. One day they, they're this, you know, the, you know, the second day they're doing this thing. The third day they're focusing on something else. Find a fucking direction. That's why I say Team 3D, dominant discipline, direction. Find a direction, find a goal, find a path, and trailblaze through that motherfucker, right? Just run through it, juggernaut through that bitch, right? Build momentum and no one will be able to stop you. Become the best at your field. That's why I always say in the intro, reclaim your throne, reclaim your throne, reclaim your territory. What is that? Why, why am I saying reclaim? It's because everyone is born with a throne. Before you even put into this world, you already have a throne, a territory. And that territory is the one field in which you will excel, right? Everyone has that. When I say reclaim your throne, I mean find that throne that's covered in spider webs because you haven't been sitting on that shit. Somebody else is probably on it was probably less capable than you are. And remove that person, right? Dethrone that person. Become the best at it. You, whoever you are right now, I guarantee you there's something that you can do that most people cannot. I always tell people, if I put you in a, people tell me, well, how do I know what, you know, what my gift is? And I tell them, if I put you in a room with five random people, randomly selected, you know, around the world, five random people, and I put you in that room, what is the one thing that you can guarantee you could bet all your money on that you know better than they do? What's the one thing that you think or that you know you could do better than this random five people, right? Five people randomly selected, right? That Whatever that one thing is, chances are, that's your feel, that's your passion, right? I also, also say if I throw you in a library and I tell you, you like to hear for the rest of your life, right? But you have to pick one section and you will be stuck in that section for the rest of your life just reading about the books in that section. Which field would you select? Which field would you gravitate to, right? All these questions, when you ask yourself, it will give you a hint of what your purpose is, what your field is, what your soil is, right? I always compare it to, to a, a seed and the right climate. You guys know if you put a seed in the wrong climate, it won't grow, right? Apples don't grow everywhere. Bananas don't grow everywhere, right? You take the... the you know, you take an apple seed, you put it on the table, it doesn't grow. You put it in the wrong soil, it doesn't grow. You put it in the right soil and boom, a tree comes out, leaves come out, 
apples come out, you know? So same thing with humans. When you plant it in the right place, the right atmosphere, you'd be amazed. You will never be bored. You will always thrive. You will always grow and you will be fucking remembered, right? You leave a legacy behind. All right, guys? So find out what your field is. Find out what your soil is and dominate that shit, guys. Dominance, discipline, direction. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. What's going on, guys? Finally, time to make that fried Thai fried rice recipe I promised y'all months back. Best shit ever, right? It's the only way I get to deal with my gluten intolerance, and you know, because every time I eat gluten, I get bloated, my nipples.